Hello, my name is Tim Gregory. I'm from Vermeer Investment Management in London, and I'm here to update you on some of our views on global stock markets and uh, sectors within that today. I hope everyone is doing as well as can be expected in these troubling times, uh, and that friends and family are also uh, able to manage through this uh, very, very difficult set of circumstances. So I thought today we would focus attention on a couple of sectors uh, that we think are particularly interesting uh, as we hopefully emerge from this crisis. And um, obviously markets have done well and there's been a very strong recovery from low levels. Uh, and that was obviously very encouraging. Uh, and what we would begin to think from here is that the markets will clearly differentiate between certain sectors that in the long term will be winning areas of the market. One area that we think uh, should continue to do well uh, is the healthcare industry. I mean, obviously there's been an enormous amount of focus of attention uh, on vaccines and other treatments that may or may not be successful in treating the COVID-19 virus. And hopefully uh, something will come along soon uh, that will enable us to move forward. But in the longer term, we think that structurally there is going to be a higher level of growth in the healthcare industry. Uh, and we can see a number of ways that this will occur and a number of ways that investors can think about that. We think that the pharmaceutical industry, which has had some challenges over uh, US drug pricing for many years and concerns over that, uh, will be uh, hopefully able to you know, push those somewhat into the background uh, and allow people to focus on the research and, and development spending that these companies do uh, in order to prevent disease and viruses going forward and the important role that that plays in society. And although these stocks have, as a group, performed quite well, uh, they are still uh, on reasonably attractive valuations and in many cases offered good dividend yields, which are so important to investors at this time of very low interest rates. So we think that's an interesting area. In addition, we think elective surgery, which has had to be pushed uh, badly to one side for obvious uh, and completely correct reasons in the short term so that hospitals and uh, healthcare practitioners could concentrate on trying to treat all the COVID-19 uh, victims in the short term. But we do think that elective surgery you know, is an important industry and that uh, all the surgeries that have had to be pushed out for the time being will come back in the fullness of time. Uh, and we think that this is an interesting area of the market to think about investing in as well. In addition, uh, home care patient therapy is also going to be important. It's going to be important to reduce the burden uh, on hospitals going forward so that they are clear uh, to deal with more acute uh, issues going forward. So we are hopeful that in-house patient therapy, uh, in-home patient therapy will be a successful uh, investment thematic going forward. And it's all very done very well uh, in recent months. Moving on, we also think that the infrastructure industry is well worth thinking about. We think that there is a risk that a lot of jobs will be lost from the economy uh, in uh, more traditional areas like leisure, airlines, transportation, uh, and these will take some while to recover. Uh, and it will be necessary for governments to finally get together to make sure that stimulus packages for infrastructure that have long been talked about actually finally do come to fruition. And industries like cement, aggregates, uh, home builders, we think these should all see some benefit from a much better focused policy towards infrastructure spending as a way of rejuvenating economic growth. Uh, and hopefully uh, we will see uh, an improvement in that area uh, going forward uh, over the next few months, quarters and years, uh, as we believe infrastructure has been very sadly underinvested for a very long time. And it has been part of many government policies to do something about this. But as yet, uh, there has been a lack of concerted effort to get that done. And we're hopeful that at this time of crisis, that will be resolved. Thanks very much for your time today. Once again, I hope everyone is as well as can be expected and is able to get through this very challenging time. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye now.